Yoga is an ancient Hindu religious practice that for 2,000 years has been intended to unite a person's soul with an impersonal, universal Hindu higher power. In fact, the word yoga literally comes from the Hindu Sanskrit that literally means this, to be yoked. You say, wow, that, that does make yoga yoked. Exactly. To be yoked. To be yoked or joined in union. Now, here, Jesus Christ, in terms of who he really is, comes to you and says, take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Hinduism is not encouraging you in any way through yoga to be yoked with Jesus Christ. Rather, it is the goal of every Hindu yogi to use this religious practice of yoga to become one with a monotheistic, pantheistic, spiritual force of Hinduism. That has been the goal for over 2,000 years. Designed not so much for exercise, but for spiritual or occult practices and 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 for me as a as a follower of Jesus Christ for you as a follower of Christ there there should be nothing in us that would be opening ourselves up to being yoked to anything short of what Christ is desiring to be in every aspect of our lives in fact i cannot find a single example in all of scripture where this is tolerated there were many religious practices that surrounded the people of God in the Old Testament. None of which does the Lord condone and say, well, yeah, it's okay for you to bring that in and practice that. No. In fact, the opposite is told over and over and over again that he explicitly condemns them adding those types of things to their lives and to their faith and to now the living out of this, their Christianity. Why would we think that it would be any different today as if God's standards have changed? I truly believe with all of my heart, gang, that his standards have not changed. That he wants us all to himself and not open to a myriad of other influences or domains or jurisdictions or authorities in our life. But some of us say, yeah, but it works. And I've even found a verse for it, Bob. Here's the verse that justifies my yoga. Be still and know that I am God. Just doing what the verse says. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, because the verse says not just be still. It says be still and know. It's not like an emptying of all knowledge, an emptying of yourself, and now an opening up to some spiritual force that flows through this occult practice. It's be still and know. Fill yourself with the knowledge of who I am. It's what we should be living for and nothing else.